Welcome, welcome. This is Re Read Divine with Re Divine Tarot. And I'm here today, Cancer, to do your January the 1st through the 15th general reading. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. All right, this is going to be Cancer. Cancer, January 1st to the 15th general. General reading for Cancer. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? One more. All right. So there could be some type of commitment long term or you could be dealing with somebody that's um, doing the right thing or you could be trying to go back to school. All right. First card popped out is the seven of cups. So there's some options. Clarified on top of that, we have the four of pentacles. So there's a need to leave an option out in the cold. Yeah, there's a need to end something. Something is ending. Past energy is the nine of swords. So there's been some anxiety, some worry, some stressful nights, some something keep you up at night. And what's coming into the future is the eight of cups. So somebody is walking away. And this is the desire. So I feel like you're looking for something more fun. You're looking to have fun. This is you in the situation, which is the Empress. So you're happy. Like this decision, I feel like it's something that you want for you. And you want a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. In a relationship. This is your hopes and fears, which is the Two of Cups. So I feel like you want a new beginning. And the outcome is the Seven of Wands. So you're standing up. You're fighting for this. All right. Let's get some clarifiers. Cancer, January the 1st through the 15th. January 1st through the 15th. Cancer, clarify this reading. And clarity on this reading. All right, so this is a decision that you have been stuck on, something that's um might have been keeping you feeling trapped, but I feel like you ultimately are going to make the decision to walk away from something from someone. Um, there could have been another water sign that was involved with this with the king of cups. Um, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But I feel like this is somebody that was worrying a lot. That was, this person was on your mind. And they have been, you know, this situation has been keeping you up at night. I just feel like you were just really, really in your head a lot about this situation. Clarify on top of the, I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups. And it's going to be clarified on top of the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups and the Moon, I'm sorry. So you could be secretly trying to walk away. And the Moon is about things being in the dark. Um, it also speaks about your subconscious. Things that are hidden. But I feel like you're going to be secretly trying to walk away. All right. Clarify with the sun is the death card. So there could have been an ending to um there could have been an ending to some type of fun. The fun could have been over in this situation, or there's gonna be some type of transformation, some type of healing that's gonna come out of this situation. Knight of Cups, again, water energy. So somebody, you could be offering somebody, you could be offering somebody, or somebody could come offering you um just like a cup of abundance, a lot. They could have offered you a lot or you could have been offering them a lot. Um, there could be an earth sign that you could be dealing with as well. But I feel like how others see you, they feel like this was a great opportunity to get something off of the ground. Um, but it's possible that it, it just couldn't get up off the ground. It really didn't go anywhere. But I feel like 
it was a great opportunity. This person could, this could have gotten off the ground, but I feel like for some reason it just didn't work out that way. Yeah, with the tower. So this, this relationship went left or you fear it going left. You fear it going to the left because this is in your hopes and fears. And then we have the justice card. So that could be a Libra and of the situation as well but this is your outcome i feel like you're going to stand up for yourself to balance this situation out you're gonna or you're gonna fight for karma you're gonna fight for something to go in your favor or you're going to be trying to you know just work out this find a way to work out this situation let me clarify the justice card Got the justice card I had a card wanted to come out, but I thought a justice card. Why is the justice card here? Yeah, with the lovers. So I feel like you're going to want to fight for this. Or somebody is going to want to fight for this relationship to work this out. Yeah, and the nine of cups at the bottom. So yeah, I feel like. Somebody is going to be secretly trying to walk away, but I feel like somebody is going to be feeling like they should fight for it. But for some reason, the relationship went to the left. Things took a turn. Maybe it was because somebody stopped having fun. Like the relationship stopped being fun. Things all of a sudden changed. What messages do you have for a cancer for January 1st through the 15th? January 1st through the 15th. What messages do you have for cancer? January 1st through the 15th. January 1st through the 15th. What messages do you have for cancer? What messages do you have for cancer? January 1st through the 15th. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so we have show appreciation. So Spirit is saying that in this situation, some appreciation has to be shown. Maybe somebody didn't show you that they appreciated you. Um, possibly you have shown somebody that you didn't appreciate them. So Spirit is saying show appreciation. Show that you appreciate this person or this person needs to show that they appreciate you. Okay. All right, Cancer, that is going to be your January the 1st through the 15th general reading. Um, if it didn't resonate with you, um, I apologize, but you need to check your moon and your rising. But this message is going to hit home for the ones that it needs to hit home for. And if this message resonated with you, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Happy holidays, guys. Ciao for now.